Why starting a candle business is so hard for beginners? Well, you are probably working in a 9 to 5 and are looking to start your own business or a side hustle that would eventually become your full-time business. I can relate to you as I too was in a 9 to 5 before I started Sosa about 3 years ago. So for someone like me who has walked the path before you, let me tell you, running a candle business is no walk in the park. It's a roller coaster ride and it has its own unexpected bumps that can throw you off course if you're not ready. Trust me, I made so many beginner mistakes when I first started out and I don't want you wasting your precious time or money stumbling over those same roadblocks. So in this video, I am going to discuss the top 6 challenges that every candle business owner faces so that you can learn from them and you have a smoother journey ahead. So let's dive right in. The first thing is understanding the candle making process. One of the first major hurdles, simply getting the hang of the entire candle making process. This isn't just melting some wax and uh, pouring it into a jar. You know, it's more than that. You know, there's way more to it. When I started my candle making business, I naively thought that, you know, any old wax would do. Little did I know that different waxes have different melting points and then there is a talk about the scent throwing abilities and then you have the burn characteristics so my early candles to be honest were plagued with these issues like tunneling mushrooming and poor scent throw so all these problems that we talk about i had all of them so it actually took me months and months of research and experimentation to find the right wax that worked for my candles uh, that I you know finally wanted to create and then uh, yeah so I've actually created a complete playlist on candle making and I keep adding new videos so if you're a new candle maker you must definitely watch these videos I'll have it linked below for you. Two, finding high quality supplies okay so you've researched and you've understood the candle making process now next roadblock ahead is finding trustworthy and high quality suppliers for your wax wigs fragrance and everything you need for your candle making business i learned it the hard way that not all waxes wigs and fragrances are created equal and you know simply using low quality supplies can result in subpar candles that really won't sell. In the initial days, you know, like everyone else, I tried cutting costs on my supplies. Huge mistake. The wicks were burning terribly. They were of terrible quality, causing uneven burn pools that were actually hazardous. The fragrance oils that I bought, they faded way too fast. And it wasn't really until I invested in premium suppliers that my candles finally turned out beautiful and long lasting and uh, I recently disclosed details from where I get my candle supplies and if you are looking for high quality supplies you must definitely explore and check them out they have really high quality materials that I definitely vouch for till date so I have a video on that and I'll link that as well the next topic is mastering packaging and branding See, but even if you nail down flawless candle making and sourcing, get ready for another challenge, packaging and branding. See, presentation is everything in the candle world and your packaging, when we talk about it, it needs to be attractive as well as functional and see, it doesn't have to break a bank. I mean, I still cringe when I remember um, I was working so hard on making those candles and you know getting everything right only to stick them in some plain dull cheap quality jars and no wonder you know they didn't really sell so well so i mean it's, it's definitely a mistake but once i leveled up 
on my packaging and once i started investing in custom design labels and pretty sustainable containers it made a huge difference so and that's one thing i definitely want you to check out fourth managing production and inventory see as your candle business grows you will need to establish efficient production and inventory systems so when i started out you know keeping track of your materials managing your stock levels and ensuring timely production can quickly become um, overwhelming if you know you don't have a proper organization in place so in the earlier days i was making candles in small batches you know whenever i whenever i would have some free time but as the order started pouring in i found myself constantly running out of supplies or having too much excess inventory i'm sure some of you can relate to me and uh, it wasn't until i implemented a proper production schedule and inventory tracking systems in place that i could keep up with uh, the demand and uh, also minimize waste so in the upcoming videos i will share details on how i plan and organize my production and my inventory including buying my supplies so yeah watch out for that the next one is marketing and building a customer base see even the most beautifully crafted candles won't sell themselves you'll need to invest time and effort into marketing your products and building a loyal customer base when i first started i naively thought that simply listing my candles on a few online marketplaces would be enough and uh, boy i was wrong it took me a lot of consistent social media marketing participating in local fairs or um, you know bead craft fairs or wellness fairs and building relationships with potential customers before you know my sales would start picking up so it has been a work in progress and last but not the least staying ahead of trends and competition and finally once you've climbed over all those other hurdles get ready for this one too the ever changing candle world new trends new competitors always popping up that you'll always need to stay ahead of i face this harsh reality when a hot new candle trend took over social media and exploded onto the market and made my classic scents seem outdated overnight and i literally had to scramble to quickly launch a whole new line of seasonal candles just to keep my customers interested so of course it was a very difficult time for me it was extremely stressful but it was also a wake up call for me about the importance of constant evolution and always coming up with fresh and fresh new ideas so of course you know these are some of the bigger hurdles that i faced or any other new candle business maker will face and uh, you know that's just part of the process but i think keeping an eye on these challenges and learning from this will help you minimize the kind of struggles that you will never see coming so just just understand i am not telling you this to discourage you from starting your own candle business in any way it's quite the opposite i just want to open your eyes to the very real obstacles ahead so you can properly prepare yourself and so you can properly plan all these things see you have to expect that there will be struggles but you can also learn from my mistakes and be willing to invest in quality education and quality supplies right from the beginning so you don't have to go through all of this and honestly with perseverance and a commitment to constantly improving your skills you can absolutely make this dream a huge successful reality so i want you to keep these things in mind and do better for yourself sadly there wasn't anyone to teach me all these things but i think now i am in the place i definitely want to pass it on 
so take a deep breath settle in and let me walk you through entire candle making journey and candle making process so here are these two playlists and once you soak up all the beginner knowledge you have the confidence to kick start your business journey and power past any obstacle in your way